Is it folklore or the real thing? Some call it the Yeti or Sasquatch, but it's best known as Bigfoot. And some residents in Whitehall, New York, say they've seen it firsthand. Lindsay Drewisher reports. The town of Whitehall, New York, is known for its undying interest in the unknown, Bigfoot. Whitehall has been the subject of a number of documentaries focusing on Bigfoot's presence in the town and the entire Northeast. This is a, a global phenomena and it's right in our own backyard. Paul Bartholomew is a paranormal researcher. He studies the Bigfoot phenomena, which dates back to ancient times around the world and the 1800s in Whitehall. He says residents and law enforcement in the area have seen the creature, but the stigma and ridicule received upon saying so has hindered others. I think it's, it's something we should acknowledge and recognize in that when someone has a sighting, that they should be able to come forward with their sighting and not have to uh, you know, hide their sighting. Hubbardton, Vermont resident Frank Sysensky has dedicated his retired life to the study. I, I set up a game camera on my apple tree because I wanted to find out what was eating all the apples on my apple tree. And I set it up for a week. And when I took it down, this is the first thing that we saw on our computer. And both my wife and I said, what in the world is that? Sysensky says he went to Vermont's head biologist to get more information on the creature in the photo. I showed him this picture and he said it was an owl. But I don't think owls go 500 pounds. This fueled Sysensky's interest to prove the creature's existence. Bartholomew says with current technology, that proof may not be so impossible. And now we're approaching the DNA age where hair samples are being analyzed and so forth. And hopefully we'll have some promising results around the corner. Saturday's lecture attracted people of all ages, including Stephen Austin, who says he's sure he spotted the creature at his Whitehall home. I didn't even know what to think. I looked out the window and I saw a large, hairy creature running down the, uh, heel, the field hill. And I saw it for a few seconds, and the next thing I know, it was gone. The lecture is just a glimpse at the efforts being made by researchers to convince state officials who claim there is no such thing. What we're trying to do out there is prove what these eyewitnesses see and what we have seen and all the evidence that we have gathered that it does exist. The town will be at the center of a brand new documentary, The Beast of Whitehall, being released in April. Lindsay DeLucia, Channel 3 News, Whitehall.